Hello, it is Monday, October 7th, 2024. It's just barely, it's about 10 o'clock at night. Uh, today was my birthday. So I woke up real early, not a lot of filming today. I woke up real early to a uh, surprise spread on the table of this small birthday gift my, my wife bought for me. got me Star Wars Outlaws, the video game, which a lot of people know, don't like, but I tend to make my own opinions on games, and I've very much enjoyed this so far. It's a Ubisoft game, so it's got a little bit of stealth, a little bit of Assassin's Creed element to it, a little bit of Splinter Cell element to it, and I like that a lot, because I like all those games. We're here at night. We've been watching this show called Outer Banks, and I'm, it took me a little bit to get into it, but I really like it. I started putting pieces together before the show revealed them. And I like the direction it's heading. Uh, the concern we have right now, in real life, is that Amanda has been sickly the last couple days. We're still fighting our sunburns. My head's starting to peel something awful. I don't know, the camera doesn't really do it justice. We're both still fighting our sunburns. Mine are getting better. Sometimes my legs still hurt, but if I can just get up and walk around, I'm fine. I don't feel sick from them anymore. That's the good news. Other thing going on is that Amanda's been kind of sickly and she just took an at-home test for COVID like 20 minutes ago and it tested positive. So she's got COVID-19. Which means there's a very good chance that I probably have COVID-19 too. Now, we're both vaccinated. I don't know the protocols. I was supposed to return to work tomorrow. I don't know the protocols for your spouse having COVID-19 and you've been able to work or anything with the, the company I work for. I don't know the protocols anymore. I knew what they were in 2020. I don't know what they are now because they've changed a little bit as uh, our understanding with COVID has uh, become greater and greater. So that's the concern now. We don't know... If I can go back to work tomorrow, she's probably not going to work tomorrow. She was also supposed to return to work. She works from home, but she was probably going to go ahead and call in. Because even though you work from home, you still shouldn't work sick. That's just my opinion. Anyway, nothing else flashy there. Happy birthday, me. I'm going to go take care of my wife who's got COVID. It is almost said Saturday. I'm bad about that. <laughs> it is opposite of Saturday. It is Tuesday. Tuesday, October 8th, 2024. I am in my wife's car. I drove my wife's car, my wife's car to work today. Amanda is homesick with COVID. Her sunburns are feeling better today. I just got off work. Her sunburns are feeling better today. However, she does have the COVIDs. So I'm about to stop by uh, the store. Even though I work at a store, I'm about to stop by another store of the same name to pick up her uh, medication at the pharmacy there. She did a uh, teledoc today to get some medicine to help get her along. She's in a rough way right now. She's not feeling too well. Why am I in my wife's car? Well, my car needed gasoline, and I was too sore from sunburn yesterday to go and get gasoline. I am, quite frankly, uh, was too sore from sunburn to go to work today, but I did it anyway, and I have been in uh, tremendous pain all day. My shoulders feel like they're about to fall out of their sockets, just rip apart at the seams. My legs are fine until I stop moving and then they hurt so I've been trying to stay active new text message from Amanda, Ooh, message from Amanda. Amanda wants uh, on top of her uh, medications I'm also going to pick her up some chicken nuggets her favorite type and also apparently now I'm going to get this can I get a oatmeal cream pie ice cream I'm going to find her some uh, bluebell oatmeal cream pie ice cream also left my sunglasses at home. 
So I'm wearing a uh, pair of Amanda's old sunglasses that she keeps in here, and these are the uh, backup, backup pair of sunglasses that I wear when I'm in her car. The other alternative is these. I could wear these. I don't think I'll pull these off quite as well as the other ones, though. Got the goods from the grocery store. No, the one I just went into, it's the one closest to our house. And the pharmacy inside is the one she sent it to, so I also got any of the, the, her little uh, uh, honeydew shopping list there as well. One thing about going in, into this store is that for the 10 years I've been with this company, like six or seven of them were spent at this store. I've worked at this particular store I'm leaving right now from 2014 until 2021. And that's when I got promoted from assistant market manager to market manager and moved off to the small store that I worked at for the last several years. And it's weird walking around in there. I don't recognize any of the workers. I don't recognize any of the customers. It's just weird. Hello, it is Wednesday, October the 9th. New text message from Amanda. October 9th, 2024. Got, uh, just got off work. Surprise, surprise. I'm tired today. Shorthand today, today. So me and my assistant had to show everyone what was up. You have three new text messages. I have three new text messages. You have four new text messages. I have four messages. new text messages. Let me check those out. I'll be right back. No, I wasn't texting and driving. Amanda's car has a text to voice uh, feature so all I simply did was press play on the text messages like I said just got off work we're going to stop by the McAllister's Deli Amanda sent an order there she was in the mood for a sandwich you know when you're sick eat whatever you want treat yourself help yourself feel better so I'm gonna swing by McAllister's pick up her sandwich get her some water while I'm there that's McAllister's water. I don't really get it, but apparently McAllister has really good water. Just a cup of water, so I'm gonna get her a, a cup of water. I've decided to not wear my wedding ring at work. I made that decision a long time ago. Because I don't want anything to happen to it while I'm at work or get lost, God forbid, while at work or get scratched up or scuffed up while I'm at work. So I've made the decision right when I bought the ring that I'm not going to wear, or more rather right, right when we bought my ring, not her ring. She can wear her ring if she wants. When we bought my ring, I made the decision that I wasn't going to wear it to work. My job's also real nasty. I'm constantly washing my hands. So I just didn't want to wear it to work. So one of the things Amanda got me for my birthday was these really cool silicone rings. A four pack of silicone rings. One gray, two black, one real dark blue. So I can accessorize however I wish. This is something I'll wear to work. I won't I will try not to lose it, but if I lose it, I've got four others. If I lose all four, silicone rings aren't expensive we'll get more. This is a way to symbolize my marriage to her while at work without having to uh, worry about losing my actual wedding ring. So real neat gift. Real smart idea whoever invented silicone rings.